Hey guys, it's Anthony with The Rag Company and welcome to Wash Wednesday. In today's video, we are washing a wide body Mustang. I thought you said we're getting a wide body Mustang. It's still a wide body horse. The other guy backed out? Yeah, sorry. Didn't have a chance to tell you. Okay, that's good. Uh, Anthony. Jasper Strongbow. Nice to meet you. Uh, what kind of horse do we have here? This here old son is a 1997 Kokomo. All right, Jasper. Well, this is uh, quite the horse you have here. It's uh, small. He may be small, half the size of a horse, but he's got a whole heart. Okay, uh, yeah. I like that. Okay. That's right. So I've sir. never I've never washed a horse before. I typically wash cars, but you you came here to wash this, correct? Heck yeah, that's why I signed up for this show, old son. Who Dean? Who has the sign up sheet for this? Where is this? Is this just open to the public? Well, it's weird because we don't even have a sign up sheet. Okay, that is even weirder. Okay, well, you know, hey, like I said, we're gonna make it happen because you came all this way with your horse, and I'm I'm guessing that was probably a far walk. So, I didn't walk all the way over here for nothing. Sir, uh, so we're gonna get this. We're gonna get Kokomo here all cleaned up. So um, we have some supplies for washing cars. Maybe not a horse per se, but I got some buckets. I got some brushes. Get a, a hose, right? We rinse it down with a hose. Heck yeah! All right, little guy. All right, we're gonna grab the stuff and uh, we'll get to washing this this horse. So what kind of shampoo you use? Equifuse. What makes it so good? It foams. Like foam foams? You bet your sweet ass it does. Well, I think I got just the tool to use that with. Show me your stuff, old son. So I just loaded up this IK Foam Pro 2 with Equifuse, and I think you're gonna like the way this thing foams. I'll throw a leg over that bronc, old son. All right, let's bring in the Kokomo. All right, Jasper, so I'll have you lead this horse to water. All right, Tony Tuesday, if you're just gonna horse around, I'll spray him down. Okay, that's enough with the puns. So we're rinsing from top to bottom. Obviously, it's the route you wanna go when you're washing a horse. Uh, it doesn't make sense to rinse from the bottom to the top. Just, you know, feels better this way, especially on a hot day. You can tell Kokomo is just really loving it. Uh, what do you think, Jasper? Oh yeah, he's enjoying this. Wow, and you can just see, a lot of people complain that we never wash a dirty horse, I mean a car, on our show. You can see all the dirt coming off of this horse here, so for everybody, all the uh, all the haters, all the hayers. I think, naysayers, naysayers. naysayers. all the naysayers. <laughs> so do we need to rinse this? Do we need to rinse it any more than we have already done? Nah, he's probably ready to go. Okay, up front here, so I've noticed that, um, no bug scrubber here on the on the bumper. Yeah, you gotta be hood. careful. You don't want to rinse and get it in his ears and his eyes. We gotta okay. take care of the horse and whatnot. Okay. So we're using uh, just to just to confirm, we are not using automotive detailing chemicals on on this horse here. So j just so people know, we are using Equifuse. Equifuse, which foam is foam and shampoo. Fo okay, you keep saying that. So I'm gonna grab that foamer and we're gonna foam uh, Kokomo down. Let's do it. Never foamed a horse before. I didn't even know this was a thing. It'll be all right, bud. I trust him. All right, guys, so we have the IK Foam Pro 2 with Equifuse in it at 34 to one. So I've never foamed a horse before, so I'm gonna kind of test out the waters here, let him know I am about to foam him, and he seems to be okay with it. This is a thing. This is at, where this is actually happening right now. I'm foaming a horse. Do I need to keep my distance? Can these horses nah. kick? You'll be fine, son. Okay, all right. I'll be gosh dang, dude, it does foam. It foams really good. Do you want, do you want to try this thing out? I'll give it a whirl. Okay, all right, just give that. It is a pump sprayer, so you do have to pump it up, right? You know, nothing that some, a hardworking cowboy like you wouldn't know how to do.
amazing. I will tell you what, son, this is pretty sweet. What you city folk probably don't know, though, the dirtiest part is the exhaust. Right back here. Okay. Well, shoot, son. We rinse them off now? Um, yeah, so we can actually start the wash process. So um, I don't know like if a two-bucket method is the thing to do. Oh, Dane, you got a little foam on the... Hey, let me wipe that off for you. Sorry about that. No, you're good. All right. Okay. Um, we're going to do the two-bucket method on this. We have a six-by-eight uh, cyclone over here, and we have some brushes. So I figured, why not put them to use? So come over here, Kokomo. And um, again, six-by-eight. Just going to go top to bottom. I've never washed a horse. You're doing fine. Thank you. Wow. Holy crap. Can you guys see that? What do we do? How do we get that clean? Um, we're just gonna go back in the bucket here. So flip it to the other side, make sure to really work that in. And then we are gonna go into our rinse bucket over here. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and rinse this off. So this, this, one? this guy right here, rinse out all that uh, dirty water. And then back into our soap bucket. And then I'm gonna focus more on the, uh, the butt region uh, here. Just be Get a good hold on him, man. He's, oh, oh, he's got some power, son. He does. He'll run away from you. This ain't no so kid toy. And so he says in, he's a 97. So yeah, so he's a 1997 Kokomo. Okay. And so I picked him up back in the day. You know old Highway 16? You follow that about three quarters mile past yeah. mile post 151. Okay. You take a left at the third power pole, go down the dirt road. Okay. There's an old ranch back there where we used to race these guys for slips. I'll tell yeah. you what. Wow. This sucker never lost. Wow. But the old the old man, he just had too many to take care of, so I was able to scoop this one off his hands. Okay, cool. Yeah, no, that, that's 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 pretty amazing. So you'd say uh, half a horsepower? Half horsepower. Half horsepower, wow. Well, whole heart. All right, Jasper, so we just finished with the top of Kokomo here. But what about the very lower areas of the horse, the sensitive areas, I guess I should say? Well, like you said, they're pretty sensitive, so I figured we ought to try out that wheel and body brush you told me about. Okay, yeah, we can use that. I have the IK Foam Pro 2 with me as well, and so it's kind of a one-trick pony, right? But it's better than hoofing around a larger foamer, so we'll be able to get to those lower areas a little bit easier. Let's give it a go. All right, let's do it. Yeah, this works real nice. Pretty nice, right? Lathers Not bad. it right up. Yeah, it gets uh, gets all up in there. You just gotta be careful when you get back here. That's where his business parts are. Okay. You don't want to go too far that way. Okay. So uh, this mud flat back here. I know you said that's kind yeah, of the exhaust that's area. That's the exhaust. Okay. So we want. Hang on to this guy. I'll show you how to do it. Slip this guy up right here. Okay. okay little, let, me, let me get a little foam for it. Little scrub it up, dub. There you go. Yeah. Much better. It's working good. You know, not I mean it's, he's cleaning up pretty good for being a spur of the moment thing. Heck yeah. So we're gonna have to go ahead and give him a rinse one more time here. So if you want, I'll hold this and we'll let, let you uh, let you hose this horse wow. down. Make sure you got a good hold. Last time he almost got away from you. Uh, that's stronger than he looks. Yep. Horse's hair holds a lot of moisture, kind of like your microfibers. So you yeah, really yeah. gotta rinse them out good. You notice how I'm going from front to back? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. See all the suds pushing out? No, I, I can definitely yeah. see that, yeah. They like to stay cool in the summer. They'll grow their coats out in the winter so they stay warm. Gotcha. So do you know, uh, so if, if Kokomo's putting down about a half horsepower, uh, weight-wise, what's, what's Kokomo sitting at? This guy right here, he's four, four corner balance. 285, 295, somewhere in there. Okay, all right, so yeah. you know, healthy, solid, yeah, right? Yeah. Really, yeah, I mean. Really planted. He's kind of, you notice he's a, a little poorly. He's not really in racing shape, but I thought you were making yeah. fun of him when you were talking about wide body Mustang. I would never, I would never make yeah, fun of Kokomo. Good thing you weren't. No, yeah, I wouldn't do that to you, sir. Oh, see, that Kokomo doesn't like that either. Yeah, you're handsome, handsome, handsome boy. So what we're gonna go ahead and do now is, um, while he's still wet and kind of uh, sun drying at this point, we are gonna grab some drying towels, but I do want to address the hoofs, right? And so we have a little brush over here. I just want to give them a quick little brush to make sure that, you know, they're looking good. Cleaning up the wheels, cleaning up the... All what, right. What are, you, what are you sitting on? Yeah. Okay. Oh, he's liking smelling something. 
don't know what's going what's, on. What there. you got in your pocket there? Uh, nothing. Nothing. Oh yeah, this brushes up nice and good. Yeah, um, one trick is you can actually grab that foamer and uh, you can actually spray a little bit of foam into the brush if you want to try that out. I'll try. Yeah, what I do is I just shoot that straight into the bristles there. Okay. Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah. Sorry, no, bud. It's, it's good. It's fine. I didn't realize. It's fine. No, it's all good. Uh, yeah, just go ahead and give him a quick brush. Oh, yeah, look at that. Okay. Not bad, right? Not bad at all. Cool. Well, I think it's time to grab our drying towel. So I think in today's video, we're probably going to be using some waffle weave, something that's a little bit shorter nap, right? Something that has a little more scrubbing power. So if we missed any of the dirt, on Kokomo, we'll be able to remove that with the drying towel. Sounds good. All right, Jasper, so here's our drying towels for today. We're using a 20 by 40 waffle weave, also known as our Dry Me River Junior. I think you could appreciate that name, right? I can. Dry Me River, Cry Me River. All right, so anyways, so we have Kokomo here. Now, normally when it comes to drying uh, a vehicle, or I don't, a horse in this case, we like to use a drying aid, but I don't think they have anything like that for, uh, for animals, right? Yeah. Equipew Shine Spray. No way. Wow. Horse detailing is actually quite uh, quite similar to auto detailing, and you just, you just never knew that, right? And so spray it on, spray and dry white. it in. Spray and wipe. And what's this going to do? Add gloss and protection? Yeah, it's going to shine him up, slick his hair up, make the water bead off. Guys, it's, the, it's, like, it's like the same thing. I could just, you know, horse detailing any day. So, okay, I'm just going to go ahead and start spraying cocoa down. Is yeah. that okay with you? Yeah, oh, hit it. All right. Yeah. It even smells good. That does smell good. Just put uh, it on him? Yeah, yep, yep. Oh, oh, he, uh, oh he, he's, I told you he's quick, son. Yeah, he is quick and very strong. So yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and, and just kind of work that in. Make sure you get that tailpipe, oh, don't uh, be scared. Oh, okay. All right. I don't really, don't even know where to grab back here. Just gonna just grab it. Wow, that's a lot thicker than what you would think it would be. Oh yeah. Right? I mean, <laughs> I haven't really grabbed on to horse tails. You've been I mean, grabbing on to other things? Um, well, so like I'm used to dogs, right? You know, I'm grabbing dogs quite a bit, but this is definitely... What kind of show is this, Tony <laughs> Tuesday? Uh, sorry, I first time. Wow, Kokomo, you look awesome. Fantastic. Now, what would you use to brush out uh, Kokomo's the mane? Stiffer bristle brush. You got anything like that? Actually, I think I do. All right, Jasper, so I think I got just the brush we need. So this is actually our tire scrubbing brush, right? But I think it's gonna work perfect on Kokomo because it's still soft and it's got some longer bristles on it that I think are gonna have some good scrubbing power, but also not catch up Kokomo's hair too bad. Should do the trick. So how does this work? Do we just dry brush? So I watched a couple of your videos before. You always talk about lubricating yeah. the paint. Uh, we need yep. to lubricate the hair, so we don't want to rip it out, son. That's a good point. Take we'll a little bit that. of that. Okay. Spray down his mane. Okay. Now I'm gonna let you do this, just brush it out. And I'm, I'm just going in. Yeah, just brush it out, so. Wow, this actually works amazing. Seriously, guys, it's actually pretty cool. This is, look how smooth that yeah, is. Yeah, get it all in there, get up here, get it. This one is all about this right now. Get his little forelock mohawk. Wow, this is actually very therapeutic and relaxing. You're so handsome, look how handsome you are. Just gonna brush that down like that. You ever style his hair for oh, events? Not usually. Races. But when the wind blows real hard and he's in a headwind, it pops up like that. So you wanna show yeah. me how to do the tail there? I will. Or the mud flap, I guess I should say. There you go. Okay, I got him. So pretty much same process. You just get a hold of her. But the biggest thing is just to not be scared, you know? Yeah, no, I, I mean, it was, it was, it was, I was mainly just surprised at the size. There's a lot, lot to handle. Most people are their first time. Yeah, yeah. Very horsey feeling. You guys got these for sale too? We, we do have them for sale, yep, we do. I might Check have them pick, out at the Pick me one of them up. Get yourself, we'll have, we'll have a new section under there called horse detailing. Actually, you know what? I'm probably just gonna take this one home. That's fine. We're probably never gonna use that again on tires anyways. So, Kokomo looks awesome. So what's the final touches? So typically in car detailing, right, we finish with things like bead maker, or we finish with things like tire shine, just to give it a little bit of extra pop, or we clean the windows, right? What would you do on a miniature horse? Well, I got one more product that we can put on them to really shine them up. If you got something to apply it, like a real soft towel. I think, I think I got some of those. All right, Jasper, so here's that towel I was telling you about. 
Eagle Edgeless 350. What do you got? All right, Anthony, here's Jasper Juice. The shine all, end all, be all for all horses. I don't know if I like that name, but if you say it works, we're just, we're gonna go with that. Oh yeah, okay. son. So Jasper Juice, wh wh what's in it? Can't tell you, family secret. It's even weirder, okay. All right, so what does this do exactly? Shines them up, just put that little extra coating on top of the shine spray. Go ahead I'll and- I'll spray them down, you wipe them up. You, you got it, man. That smells like bead maker. Are you sure that's not bead maker? I wouldn't put that stuff on my best friend. Yeah, of course. Come on, bud. Okay. Yeah, sorry. We sir. ain't horsing around, wiping down. Yeah, you got it. You got it, sir. Damn, a quick wipe. You got an extra one of those, bud? You're slow. Um, sorry, that's the only one I got. <laughs> yeah. It's all right, I'm just razzing you a little bit. So if I were to need this done again, how much you charge me to come out and do this at the ranch? Um, I, I'm still working on pricing for horses, but you know, eventually if I get something, I could send it to you via, do you have an email? No. Do you have, do you have, a, do you have a phone? Yeah. You, okay. Like, like a cell phone? No. Okay. The old radio dial. Yeah, just shoot me your number. Maybe right. CB radio you or something I'll sometime. Write it, I'll write it down. Cool, cool. All right, Jasper, so we just finished up the detail on Kokomo here, and he looks better than ever. What do you think? I would agree. He's all shined up, ready to go, clean as a whistle. What was your favorite part of the detail? I really like that foamer. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was surprised that we could foam a horse shampoo. That's, that's pretty amazing. I think my favorite part was probably just feeling how soft he was after we dried him up. That, uh, that little uh, drying, he did a pretty good job. I'll be. So normally in this part of the show, we'd take the cars out for a drive. So what do you say we take Kokomo out to Old Town Road? Nope. Well, I guess that's it, guys. So, if you guys like this video, make sure you give us a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more, and stay tuned for more videos right here at The Rat Company.